Uh, my name's Tarek Merchant and I'm the musical director for The Band's Visit. I think the thing that's really distinctive about the music in The Band's Visit is that the it, it, it just it's a very unusual combination of flavours and styles so it, it's got the quality of a musical theatre piece but without any of the razzle-dazzle or uh, sort of it, it's, it's very intimate, it's, the, the musical styles weave together songs that have catchy hooks and you could you know, enjoy as a song, but also Arabic music, uh, sort of leaning towards classical classical Arabic music, um, often Middle Eastern influences woven with what feels like a sort of jazz feel at times, and actually the combination of all of those styles together feels very distinctive and unique, and I can't think of another musical theatre piece that quite manages to walk that tightrope. Hi, my name is Orban Ezra Segal, and I'm the Associate Director on The Band's Visit. Uh, so I'm supporting Michael and the production through um, basically from day one, from the first uh, workshop that, that we ran at the Donmar, uh, through um, uh, casting, uh, design, um, uh, rehearsals. The sound of the, mu of the music sounds so specific to that area, to this little place in the desert in between Egypt and Israel. Um, and it's almost like another narrative, it's almost like another, another text, another dialogue underneath that's supporting the words because it brings instruments as well like oud and um, percussion and darbuka and you know, special instruments that are normally used in these areas. Not, nothing sounds better than a live instrument. Um, and it's, you know, the ma it's, it's magic. I think one of the things that's really lovely about it is that it means that at quite an early point in the rehearsal process we're getting all of these musical textures live in the rehearsal room and that's quite exciting. Often you might have to wait till very late on in the process before you actually start to hear the music becoming 3D for the actors and the story, whereas actually weaving that into the process uh, as you have to do because it's part of the story and those musicians are part of the story. Um, feels quite exciting because we're really already getting the flavours of the darbuka, the, um, the oud, the um, violin, the cello, all of uh, the clarinet, all of the instruments that are played live on stage by the band members. It's gorgeous, it's already you know a few weeks in and um, you know no light, no costumes, like it's just the story it's, it, and the songs, it's beautiful. Um, it's heart, it's heart uh, t uh, breathtaking heartbreaking and breathtaking because there's a lot of um, there's a, it's about people the story about people and the way they connect and about their private lives and about love but mostly about hope um, and I feel that and I feel that hope is something as a generator that keeps us all alive in life um, when it's uh, described so well and so musically and poetically in front of your eyes by n normal people ordinary people uh, it's very hard not to not to relate and not to uh, and not to find yourself in their stories and if it comes if it's served with beautiful songs and live band on stage you you will laugh and cry and you'll feel it all and positive <laughs>